Bueno, bienvenidos a, la, bienvenidos a la rueda de prensa de Dick Herrera después de este Castellón 0 a 1 eh, Preguntas para el míster, por favor, con nombre y medio. Xavi. Hola Dick, Xavi Hola. Sido para la cadena SER. ¿Qué valoración haces del, del partido? Si yo, yo creo que en general todo el mundo se ha marchado contento hoy de Castalia, aunque a ti te hemos visto al final un poco enfadado y no sabemos muy bien por qué, porque en general sí que nos llevamos todos una buena visión del, del Castellón. Sí, yeah, so Maybe if I calm down and maybe tomorrow I'm maybe not happy is a big word. I'm never happy when you lose, so you will never see me smile even when we play good. If we lose, we I'm not happy. Um, uh, yeah, probably a lot of questions come more. The first half we were a little bit nervous. I said in half time we need to keep a little bit more quiet. We need to control the ball a little bit more, and then we can come into the game. I think the second half you saw that very good. Also, as, as we told them the whole week, we told them in half time again, we have to close the middle. All the time, close the first pass or the second pass in the middle. And then the goal, if you see the goal back, we don't close the middle. We make a mistake. That's why I'm angry. So, um, yeah, and then of course maybe I'm proud, but in the end of the day it's about winning, it's, uh, so I'm not happy. In that way, I'm not happy. Yeah, that was possible. Uh, I think, yeah, the first half they were better than us, but also because we were not good on the ball, we made some few, uh, a few mistakes. Second half, we were really, I think we were really good. We put them under pressure. We had some opportunities. We could have more opportunities in transition. A few times with Damey, uh, if he controlled the ball a little bit better. And then uh, with a shot like that, you have to be a little bit lucky. And then uh, I mean, maybe everything was maybe different, but you never know because uh, it's the same day score. And we also get a big chance after day score with Castanier. So those things, those things can happen also. Uh, la copa está muy chula, muy bonita y tal, pero ahora realmente ya que queda centrarse en, en el objetivo de, del club que es la Sens directa. Y sea una, dos, emocionante el, la ovación final de Castalia en Peu, antes de acabar el partido, reconocer el esfuerzo del Castelló y me imaginé que también de Tochasuna en un partido que realmente ha sido muy precioso. Yeah, of course, it, that is, uh... If we don't talk about winning and losing, I think uh, this is the, the way how we are busy at the moment with the team, with the supporters, with everybody, um, that there is a good atmosphere when we play at home. Uh, so the people uh, appreciate how the team is playing. Uh, for me, that is of course very important to come back on the first question, uh, because in the end of the day, the people also come to the stadium to enjoy our football. Uh, we are happy that they all come. Um, so yeah, uh, in the end, yeah, that is of course uh, nice, and uh, we uh, we hope uh, that they uh, keep coming in good and bad times because it's going to be still a very difficult season, a hard season. Alex, si vuelto a hablar sobre el árbitro que ha tenido varias tarjetas a los jugadores como Ney y que ha pensado en la vida de este partido. Maybe I, I deserve the yellow card. I said something to the fourth uh, man and to the linesman. Um, so, yeah, if they want to give me yellow for that, if they think that it's good, then it's good. For me, it's fine. Um, further, I never, uh, this is the only thing what I want to say because the question is about me. Uh, further about the performance of the referees, I never talk because they have a very difficult job. And in the end of the day, I have to respect all the decisions and uh, I'm fine with it. Okay. Eh, voy a preguntar a Dick sobre la lectura positiva que hace del, del encuentro en encuentro que, no, que casi no ha obligado a Osasuna y la división a meter a casi todos los tipos que tenía en el, en el banquillo y sobre todo qué le puede aportar eh, esa lectura positiva que pueda hacer el día de hoy a eh, la Liga, que es lo que al final ahora mismo interesa para conseguir el ascenso. Yeah. Of course, I'm, I'm again, I'm very happy about our performance, uh, especially the second half and in the extra time. Um, the way how we play, the way uh, how we attack, uh, and don't and don't sit back. How we play our own philosophy against the La Liga team uh, with a much bigger uh, wage bill, um, 
and also the players who uh, who started for them. Yeah, in the end of the day, they are La Liga players because they strengthened also the squad in the summer because they ha they have a lot to play. Uh, now they go again uh, and play on this Thursday, so they uh, yeah all those players they are maybe four, five, six, or maybe seven of them are maybe also starters. So it's not only that they don't play. Um, in the end, yeah, the way how he changes the team uh, to win the game also uh, that means that means also a lot uh, because that showed that we did it very well. Uh, Kala was injured on his uh, shoulder, so uh, we needed to uh, take him out. No, no, Gonzalo. Gonzalo. Xavi, la última? Sí, yo quería preguntarte por ese doble pivote hoy con Oscar Gil y con Iago Indias, por la posición también de Iago durante gran parte del partido más adelantado de lo que estamos acostumbrados a ver, y por la apuesta de Castañé, que muchos pensábamos que igual la solución en ataque era Groni, pero la apuesta ha sido Castañé. First of all, when Castanier came in, he came in on the right side. So, uh, and we also know that he can play in the center. So, if you need to make a change later, we can put him in the center. That is what we did. But he came in first on the right side. Uh, so, uh, then we choose for him and not for uh, Sebastian. Um, Iago, yeah, they played last week also in midfield. But th this midfield came there because for me, at this moment, this is the fittest midfield. Um, because uh, Calavera came back from injury and it was already, already like a little bit of a risk to, to start with uh, Salva. Uh, that's why we don't start also with another guy who comes back from injury because I don't want to make for sure two subs. Uh, because I already know with Salva I have one sub away.